Welcome back to The Rich Life. My name is Aaron, and today we're gonna to be talking about Kaya Gerber. Now, Kaya Gerber is an American model and actress with a net worth of $3 million. Kaya Gerber was born in Los Angeles, California, and is the daughter of Cindy Crawford and Randy Gerber. But before Cindy was married to Randy, she was actually married to actor Richard Gere in 1991, and they divorced in 1995. Kaya has been a model for several magazines, including Vogue, Pop Magazine, and Teen Vogue. Gerber made her runway debut in 2017, and has walked for fashion shows, including Burberry, Marc Jacobs, Alex Alexander Wang, Chanel, Versace, Moschino, and more. She's also the face of Marc Jacobs' Daisy Fragrance in 2018 and created her first collection with Karl Lagerfeld called Karl X Kaya. Kaya Gerber received Model of the Year Award at the 2018 Fashion Awards. As an actress, she appeared in the TV movie Sister Cities in 2016. She also appeared in the TV series Rich Kids of Instagram in 2017. And in 2019, Kaya Gerber starred in the music video Burnout by John Etherly and is currently casted in the hit FX horror anthology series American Horror Story and the newest one, American American Horror Stories. But I think she'd be great in a spinoff of the OC because she looks exactly like Rachel Bilson. I mean, look at them. They could easily be related. But anyways, she's the daughter of Cindy Crawford, who is the richest supermodel in the world. Let me just tell you about her. Cindy Crawford has a network of $400 million. That's combined network with her husband, Randy, who also co-funded Casamigos Tequila with George Clooney. On her own, Cindy's fortune would easily top $200 million. Known for her signature mole above her lip, Cindy Crawford is one of the five original models, alongside Naomi Campbell, Linda Evangelista, Christy Turlington and Tatiana Petits. Men's Health named her one of the hottest women of all time and VH1 ranked her at number three on their top 40 hottest hotties of the 90s list. Over the years, Cindy's appeared in music videos for artists including George Michael, John Bon Jovi, Duran Duran, and Taylor Swift. Cindy has hosted the MTV House of Style from 1989 to 1995 and appeared in episodes of TV series like Third Rock from the Sun, According to Jim, Wizards of Waverly Place, and Cougar Town. Crawford was one of the most popular supermodels from the 80s and 90s, appearing on the covers of hundreds of magazines, including Vogue, People, Cosmopolitan, and Elle. She participated in runway shows for Versace, Chanel, Calvin Klein, and several other major designers, and was featured in campaigns for Oscar de la Renta, Valentino, Revlon, Maybelline, and more. Cindy starred in the Pepsi commercials for the Super Bowls in the early 90s, and then she fully retired in 2000. And in 2005, she created a meaningful beauty line of beauty products, and in May 2011, she came right back out of retirement and appeared on the cover of Vogue Mexico. And she also appeared on the cover of Vogue Paris with her daughter in April 2016. In 2017, she took part in the Versace Spring Summer Fashion Show in honor of the late Gianni Versace. Now we're gonna talk about some real estate. While Kaya still lives with her parents, let's not mention the notable real estate that she had the luxury of living in. Her parents own a number of extremely impressive properties over the decades. Some examples include a $1.85 million oceanfront Malibu home that her family had been renting for about $45,000 per month. In 2015, she lived in a $50 million home, which was a two-part property next door to each other, all on a six-acre compound. In 2017, her parents bought a home from musician Ryan Tedder. It costs about $11 million and is located right in the middle of Beverly Hills. She previously lived in a 23-acre property in the hills above Malibu that at one time was a kid's camp. She now spends time at her parents' home and also her boyfriend's. So let's take a look at some of her past roomies and current ones, and I'm talking boyfriends. She was once dating Wellington Grant. He's a fashion model who walked in fashion shows for some of the world's biggest designers, including Stella McCartney, Hugo Boss, and Helmut Lang. When Gerber resided in New York City, she was dating American comedian Pete Davidson from late 2019 to early 2020. Pete Davidson, we all know this guy, but for those who don't, he's a comedian and an actor. He's one of the youngest cast members on SNL. He's also pretty famous for dating dangerous woman Ariana Grande and is now dating Kim Kardashian and is also beefing with Kanye West. Check out the other video I did on him. You'll get the whole scoop. In October 2020, Kaya began a relationship with Australian actor Jacob Elordi. The couple broke up a year after dating. Now Jacob Elordi, he's an actor and known for his character that he plays in HBO's Euphoria. Now, although he plays a terrible guy in the show, I do think he's a complete opposite in real life. The two look like they were really in love, but I don't think they feel anywhere near that way today. Gerber is now dating actor Austin Butler since late 2021. Austin Butler is an American actor as well. He's been very relevant today for his portrayal of Elvis Presley in the musical BIPOC Elvis, which premiered in 2022. He also dated High School Musical star Vanessa Hutchinson's a few years ago for about a decade. Now, Kaya and Austin have been together and they've made several appearances together, such as at the Elvis this film premiere at the Cannes Film Festival, where she wore a red dress identical to her mom's from the 90s. You know, the two even attended the Met Gala together, making their relationship known for everybody. Interesting enough, she brought a little camera with her to the Met Gala and she snapped so many pictures in there. They all look so cool and candid. You know, she ended up getting photos of supermodel Gigi Haddad, rap star Kid Cudi, comedians Amy Schumer and Mindy Kaling, Billie Eilish, Cara Delevingne, Maude Apatow, and even Evan Mock from HBO's reboot of Gossip Girl. This for sure looks like an event you don't wanna miss, but 
but too bad everybody I know missed out, but maybe one day. I think Kaya is for sure talented, and she could probably start a career in almost anything artistic. You know, she's a New York girl, she's an LA girl, she's a model, she's a photographer, she's an actress, you know, she might even dabble into singing or something. But what do you think she's gonna end up doing? Do you think she's gonna follow her mother's footsteps or gear into a whole different career? Let me know in the comments below. My name is Aaron, thanks for checking out The Rich Life.